Hello everyone and welcome to Spain on a Fork. I'm your host Albert Bevia. In today's episode we're going to be making a recipe that was born during the colonial times of Spain when they were in Cuba, arroz a la cubana. This dish is very simple, uses very simple ingredients, but when you combine them all together it has an extraordinary flavor. So let's get started. And here are the ingredients we'll be using. We have half a cup of round rice, about one cup of water, half a cup of tomato puree, one banana, two fresh eggs, about a quarter cup of extra virgin Spanish olive oil, half a teaspoon of white sugar, one clove of garlic that's already been minced, some sea salt, and some ground pepper. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our banana to the oven. I've already had the oven preheated at 210 degrees Celsius, which is about 410 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to put this in the oven between 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab a saucepan, and we're going to turn on our fire to about a medium to high heat. And let's add our cup of water. Next, we'll grab another saucepan and turn on our fire to about a medium heat. We'll add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and our garlic that's already been minced. And about 30 seconds after adding our garlic, let's go ahead and add our half cup of rice and mix it all together. Okay, our rice has been cooking for about three minutes. We already have our other pot here with the water that's already starting to boil, so let's go ahead and turn it off and add it to the pan with the rice. And let's add a generous pinch of sea salt and mix it all together. Okay, it's been about five minutes since we added the boiling water into the saucepan. You can start really seeing a lot of the rice grains now. When you reach this point, let's go ahead and lower our fire to a low heat. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since we added our banana to the oven, and it's perfectly cooked. It looks burned in the outside, but it's perfectly cooked in the inside. So let's go ahead and take this out and let it cool off. Okay, so it's been about three to four minutes since we lowered our fire to low, and there's very little broth left. So at this point, Let's go ahead and cover our saucepan and turn off our fire. Okay, next thing, let's grab another saucepan, turn on our fire to about a medium to high heat. Add one tablespoon of extra virgin Spanish olive oil, our half cup of tomato puree, our half teaspoon of white sugar, a generous pinch of salt, and some ground pepper. And let's mix it all together. Okay, so it's been about four to five minutes since we started cooking our tomato sauce and it's now done, so let's go ahead and turn off our fire. Okay, next let's grab our banana and let's go ahead and peel it. What we're going to do next is we're going to cut it in about quarter inch thick slices. Okay, next thing, let's grab a small frying pan and turn on our fire to about a medium heat. And we'll add two tablespoons of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. Okay, so while our oil is heating, let's start plating our plate. So let's grab some of our white rice that's already done and we're going to start putting it into a bowl. Okay, the next thing, we're going to grab a plate. We're going to put it over our bowl and then flip it. Bring it over here to the side. We'll grab some of our tomato sauce that we made and put it over the rice. We'll grab some of our sliced bananas and decorate them throughout the plate. And once your oil gets hot enough, let's go ahead and start cracking our eggs and adding them to the pan. We'll add a little bit of sea salt on top. We'll add our eggs to our plate. We'll add a little parsley on the dish just to give it some color. And there's our finished plate of arroz a la cubana. If you enjoyed today's video on making arroz a la cubana, please subscribe to my channel so you can receive all my future videos showing you how to cook fabulous Spanish food. Until the next time, hasta luego.